But like, no problem. So 95% of animals in the UK are factory farmed. So I would consider that torture. First I would ask you, where did you get the stats from? So from DEFRA. What is DEFRA? DEFRA is the Department for uh, Environment, Food... Uh, Can you show me that? Yeah. Like, just, I think you have to just Google it yourself. Yeah, like, just tell me. Where, where is it? Because I like to, to make sure the, 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 the information is yeah, correct, yeah. you know? Uh, so, can, what do you want me to Google exactly? So just go DEFRA. Can you spell that? D E F R A. Okay. Factory Farming Statistics UK. Yeah, so the vast majority of animals in the UK are factory farms. So I consider that torture, right? Okay. So Depending on how they are uh, up, look farming up, them. Okay, look at the dog. Can I assume everyone is doing the same thing? What? Right? So I've been to farms. We, I have a friend that has a farm in Wales. We've been to his farm. No problem. He, he, he has a farm here in Wales. He doesn't abuse animals. So these stats will include him, that the uh, food is coming from there. But he uh, grows them naturally. He doesn't That's eat from not, the grass and this and that. That would be part of the 5% or... Okay. It might be less than 5 I don't know. But I, I think it's 95%. You're saying factory food, yeah? Yeah, factory farms. Okay. Industrial farming. That, that doesn't, have to do, doesn't have anything here that says factory. Factory farming. Uh, maybe this one. Well, this is not the same website. It's uh, data. It's from the gov, so it'll be it'll be from DEFRA. Let's well. see. So DEFRA is just the department. So okay, be, so yeah. has no information here. Yeah, wait. Yeah, here. Yeah. Farming statistics. You have to like look, farming practices here. Where where is the the stats that you got like the ninety five percent? And this is about two thousand thirteen. But let's see. I'm honestly not sure, but I, so I really that, that's why look. Uh, that's why I personally, what I like to do is because a lot of people pass, pass information. No, but, but you know what's your name? Is it to me? Stuart. Stuart. Look, Stuart. Do you agree with me, the one who makes the claims, so we should provide the evidence? If I make sure, a, yeah. yeah. So uh, if I if I say to you, the Quran is true. You say why? I say look it up. It's not a fair thing to do. You get the point. If I make a claim, well, like I mean, I talk to people on the street all day. I can't like bring around a document with me. No problem, but but I would say, uh, no, no, but you told me that if you go search different, it should be on the government website. I didn't it find be. it. You'll find it. But I did it. You'll find the factory farming statistics, yes. Yes, I will, but 95% the claim that you made is what I was talking about. Anyways, let's move from that. What is the point that you were trying to make? I don't remember. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay. The, the, point, the point I'm trying to make is this. Look, uh, it all comes back to idea of subjective and objective morality. If you're coming from a subjective point of view, if you believe morality is subjective... I don't think it does though. I don't think it matters. So like, are you arguing from a subjective yeah, point of view? so I'm just arguing from your morality. Like, it you can't matter. argue from my morality, you don't yeah, believe I in can. it. Yeah, I can. But I can, I can show you so consistency. I can show you consistency. So oh, consistency. Sure, sure. So let's argue from my morality. Allah says in chapter 16 of the Quran, they created the animals for our food and sustenance. This is my morality. Well, I, mean, yeah, I guess if you want to do that... So you can ride on them, you can use them. As Sustenance is just a general term. I mean, like, I just say like, Say that we were doing that to a child. We were killing a child. I wouldn't, food. because I don't. I don't believe they have an equal moral value, and I don't think you do as well. Not equal, no. Of course. I think they both have so, moral value. So it's right? a, so it's a, it's not an, uh, a correct equivalent to to have the two. In I'm one not example. drawing an equivalency and drawing a comparison. So like when you're saying that you're okay with doing it to the child, but you're you're not you're not okay with doing it to the child, but mm -hmm. you're okay doing it with the animals. Right? Yes. Why? So what's the trait that's different? Exactly. The answer to the question is coming back God, to the point right? to the point that I was making is Do you our have morality. Any for God? Is our morality? Come to that. No problem. Let's talk about yeah. that. I'm happy to talk about that. But before that, I'm saying my morality. I have to go, no problem. My morality comes from the Quran, right? Based on that, I give the value to different objects. Now, when it comes about God. When you ask me, do you have evidence for God? I will turn the table on you. I would say that it's a human innate thing to believe in a creator. And if you, I'll give you right. evidence. I'll give you evidence for it, but you just let me just very very That just doesn't work. No problem. But I'm not finished. What I'm saying. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> okay. And I'll, there are there are evidence and statistics for human beings being born with an innate disposition yeah, to believe. I don't care. Sure, sure. But, I'm not, I'm not, but right, you're, you're asking me evidence for God. When I'm yeah. speaking, you're telling me I don't care. No, but that, that so I don't feel you. I don't feel. I don't feel you're being really. The, the, innate, the innate thing. I just don't think that's not evidence for God. That's innate, That's just the evidence that we believe. But in I've God. not finished what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Carry on. Uh, Mike, I'm gonna ask you a question once I'm done. I'm saying now there are uh, uh, like uh, experiments happening in Oxford University, for example. 57 academics. Okay. They gathered in Oxford. University. They brought children from everywhere around the world, 20 different countries, and they had an innate receptivity to the to the divine, to the creator. They believe in a creator from without being socialized with the community and society. And my question is: Every civilization that existed in human history believed in some form of a higher deity. If you, yeah, okay. My question is: Where does that belief come from? So it could come from a number of different places. Give me. 
What? Should I explain to you what happened? Why does every no no no? Why does every human being being born with the same idea of God? Something transcendent well, the beyond. No, the children have it. You can look at the studies. They believe in something higher, above, unlike the creation, well, something individual okay. or powerful. Well, you don't make it the human being. So it's a similar, Sorry? similar belief about God, not the same. Because they when, don't all believe in the same God. When I say when I say similar, similar. Yes, I'm saying the attributes that they have. I agree with that. It's similar. No, no, but the attributes that they have. No, the attributes that they have is limited to Islam. Like we don't believe God is a man, so they don't say God is a man. We believe Allah is beyond our, our, our comprehension. That's what we believe. We believe Allah is all powerful, above. They have these main things that Muslims believe about the Creator. They're born with that in it belief. My question is, where does it come from? Where does commonality come from? Okay, so it could be, it could be No one is born saying Jesus is yeah, God. Yeah, no, no, or no. Brahma is God or no one says that. Yeah, no, but no one says that Allah is God either. So they You don't have to say the name, but they have the description. If I describe you someone who's if they, yeah, if they describe some weird yes. Barnum statement about some higher power, then they don't sure. say that. They say higher power above yeah. cannot be observed above our comprehension okay. as human beings. Yeah, that's what we believe. Yeah, so I think that, that arises from our ideas and, and created our, the universe. So yeah, I think God evolved from our, our tribalistic. God instance. evolved. Yeah. So uh, the idea of God evolved. So um, so when we're when we, uh, you want to explain or not? Yeah, sure, sure. So like when we were in tribes and stuff, right? We uh, we didn't have any way of monitoring people, right? So we had like a, there's a huge social pressure to be good in a tribe, to be seen as good in the hierarchy of, of society, right? To be valued in society in a tribe. How do you know that? It's a natural selection. No, how do you know that in the history? What? Natural selection does not justify what happened in human history. Natural not saying, selection not even, is not a historical argument. You're saying when you were tribes back in, in the day, yeah. you, you're talk, you believe in evolution, I don't. You're you don't saying in the beginning, I don't believe in evolution. Okay, you believe, you're saying the first, the beginning of evolution, we were tribal uh, and cavemen, yeah. correct? Yeah. And you're describing our behavior. Where do you get this idea from? Where do you get what we used to believe from? Natural selection doesn't tell you that. These are just uh, assumptions. Conversations with people about psychology. Conversations with like, people are telling you what happened billions of years ago? Yeah. How is that? Well, it's just, it's a theory. Like you said, you look, what you said It's was, a theory, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What you so said it's not was, just a fiber okay, right, okay, 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 that, okay, that, that works with me. Okay, say that uh, you said before, you said, There's, they have this higher power, you know, they all believe this. How, is there any other explanation? I've given you another explanation. No, I, I was asking you for another explanation. Yeah, that was the explanation. No, no, but explanation has to have evidence backing it up. We have a fact right now today, which they are born. Yeah, your, with your, your explanation doesn't have a fact. I either. didn't make an explanation yet. Yeah. I just asked a question. You said to me, what evidence do you have for God? I'm saying it's an innate human thing to be born believing okay. in a creator. So why therefore, is that evidence for Islam? Therefore, why is that evidence no, 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 for Islam? I'm, I've not said that. You asked me evidence for God, not evidence for Islam. Do you remember your question? You what said to me, but like, either way, why I, is that I'm precise. Why is that evidence for God? Sure, I'll explain while okay. you speak. You asked me a question about God. I said to you, if we are born innately believing in a creator, like you're born innately believing you're a human being, yeah. this is an innate belief. I know, I know. In I know, epistemology, I it. Wait, 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 wait. in epistemology, okay, it's it. called I've intuitive go knowledge. Can you get it to it? No like, problem. I get it. No intuitive problem. knowledge, we get it. Why is that evidence for God, though? It could be evidence I, for other things. But bro, if you're born, do you know what, do you know what epistemology is? Like, yes. Why is it? It's the study of knowledge. It's okay. about. It's, it's about how, what what level? How, how much evidence or something? Why is the highest level of knowledge? Uh, randomized controlled trials? No, meta analysis of randomized controlled trials. No. Why science. is the highest knowledge that we can uh, ascertain when it comes to epistemology? I use the scientific hierarchy of evidence, so I don't know. Scientific is one of the weakest. It's based on empiricism. Empiricism is based on the du in induction, or... induction, and okay, it has yeah, a problem yeah, yeah, of induction. Yeah, I, I agree, I'm saying yeah, yeah. what is the agree, highest? Yeah. The highest form is deduction and yeah. intuitive knowledge. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because we, for example, you cannot prove you exist. You intuitively know that you exist. This is the highest form of knowledge because everything is based on intuitive knowledge. Okay, that you yeah, exist. Yeah, that you... Okay, so I'm saying it's intuitive knowledge that there is a creator. We're born with it and I'm given evidences for it. That's I don't have to justify it anymore. That's you have no. to tell me why you don't believe in it. That doesn't work. Cause like, How does it work? You can have intuitive knowledge of things that we know aren't true. Though. So tell that me, would be... give an example. Every, can, everyone can, born with are, something. People are born with an intuitive belief that they're like Jesus or a Messiah. No one, who, who are the children are born and every yeah. human being born. Where, where is the evidence for that? Is. Can you give me uh, so the, studies? You, so let's just studies? Say like, okay, let's say, let's say um, you've made a claim about an objective truth, right? And you're using something that you're claiming as universal as a proof for that. Do you think that universality was, is the same as an objective truth? Do you think that because something is universal, therefore it is true? No. Objective. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, if we're all born with a specific belief, as human beings, then it has to source from somewhere. And I'm making the claim that we're all believing in an entity 
If we all believe in the entity, then I don't have to justify. I've given you another source. Th then I don't have to justify the opposite to it. But you there do. Are other explanations for it. Why would you? Why would you? You haven't given any evidence for any other explanation. What are, what's the evidence that it's God? Well, I'm saying that the, the data itself, which is the belief in God, is no, the evidence that's for the existence of God. So it's like, not. Look, if you're saying you're saying the evidence is God, is that people think that there's a God? Not people that, think. That have an innate, innate not, belief that there's a God. Yes, everyone is born with the same innate belief with the, with certain characters of God. They're all. Well, there's another explanation for why they have an innate belief that there's a God. No. No. Why is that? Because it's That's universal. That's a categorical claim. Then you need evidence for that. No problem. My my evidence What's is. What's the evidence? There's no. Well, you're not letting me answer. Right? Okay. My no. evidence is that there is no other belief like this. And give me one. What? Give me there's one no belief. belief like give me that. one other belief that human that beings are born. Exist. That human beings are born innately. That we exist. Be believing in that is not correct. That we exist. What? We exist is correct. That, that, that is correct. That is not correct. You're making the claim that this belief in the Creator is not correct. It could be. It could be not correct. It could be for other reasons. I'm making a claim. Give me one thing that we're innately all human beings are born with, believing, and it's not correct. Not correct. You will not find that. And that's the claim I'm making. No. Um, I think we have. Uh, well, I mean. How do you verify anything that's like correct? I mean, you've only got one example that it's definitely true, which is that we exist. But like, I don't think, I can't even think of any other innate beliefs that are ubiquitous. I gave you one. What are other beliefs that are ubiquitous? Uh, that maybe you're conscious, something like that. But yeah, similar that's, that's to what we exist. Other, similar yeah. to what we exist. Yeah, like, I can't. I that, that, we, else, that we, like, that we, that we, causality, for example, is something that the human beings are born but believing in. Why would in. I assume just. Causality, you know, cause and effect? What? That's another example, cause and effect. Human beings are born innately, and there are studies showing that as well. Believing that there is always a cause for something. If you touch a baby, he doesn't see you. He always looks for a cause. He doesn't believe that this okay. randomly happened. Causality is another example. Causality is true. Every effect requires a cause. Wow, I don't know about that. That's a, that's a law in science. Science doesn't work without causality. I know it doesn't. <laughs> wait, took, wait, took it off. No, like evidence for causality. If every effect requires a cause. You can't provide evidence for that. Sorry? You can't provide evidence. Reality is evidence for that. In, no. does, give me I one agree. thing. By the way, like I give, agree. I give, think I do believe okay, it. Okay, so why are you arguing? Why are you arguing? No, why are you back? No, I I think our belief in innately is evidence. I really have to go. No problem. You can go. I just don't think that. To summarize. I don't think that just because you have an innate belief in something, I don't think that entails that it's Everyone true. has the same innate belief in certain characteristics and believing in a higher I, entity. I don't, I don't, I just don't, I can't see, like you'd have to formulate that in formal logic. And I, I, I did. Easily. No, you didn't. I did. No, you don't know, for, you I did. don't know what formal logic is. I, I give you no deductive, I mean, I I'd give you a deductive argument if you want. All right, go for it. No, okay, every human being is innately born yeah. with a belief in a higher entity with the same characteristics. We're only born believing in specific, in, as a universal human being, only born believing in things which are true. Therefore, the belief of God that we're born with is true. That's a deductive argument. Uh, yeah, you wanted me to formulate it in logic? Yeah, I disagree with the No, you asked me to give you a... Okay, you yeah. disagree with any of this. It's uh, your opinion, you know? Anyways, look, it's, it was nice having a discussion uh, with you. Yeah, there's not enough time to get into the problem. Like, yeah, no problem, no problem. No like, problem, um, no problem. It was nice talking to you anyways. My advice is research these issues, because if there is a creator, Outside of veganism, if there is a creator, then there is an explanation for eating that's, animals. I just don't, that doesn't work for me. It no doesn't problem. work as evidence for God. I know you closed your mind already, but it's no, okay. No. I'm the most open minded person in Seems like it. Every I've two minutes you say, like, I don't care. So I've been convinced to like hunt predators. I've been convinced to do all crazy kinds of shit because of logic and consistency. Does make, that makes you an open minded to, to, conv yeah. to be convinced to hunt predators? I'm absolutely open minded to what Can you define open minded? Me? You can convince me of anything if you have enough logical reasoning about it. Uh, what, what is what illogical reasons? I give you already a, a you gave me an argument. argument I didn't find convincing. Okay, why? You, you didn't provide logical reasons. I can opposite think of other reasons why people would have that innate belief. Still, the belief, having it or not, I'm not talking the, why they have the belief. I'm saying the belief has to be true because it's universal amongst everyone. I don't, I don't see why that's the case. But give me some other belief that is universal that is not true. I don't have to do that. But then every universe, every universal belief that we're born with is so far true. Therefore, the universal belief in a creator is also true, regardless of the reasons that you can think of which, where it came from. It could be the fact. It could be the fact that we all of our innate beliefs are true. I'm saying the reason is regardless. I've got a good argument. Okay. Sorry. It could be the case that all of our innate beliefs that we're born with are true. Okay. That are universal but, amongst human beings. Yeah. But there's a hypothetical case where someone is born with an innate belief and it isn't true. Derive the contradiction. Otherwise, no, otherwise, otherwise, you're no, but, 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 Derive but, the contradiction. No, no, you, no, no, but you just contradicted yourself. I'll what? tell you, you just con contradicted no. yourself. Can I tell I, you why? I, you, I, I, you I'll use, tell you. No, no, you but you're not universality. Me, you know, universality. Okay, thank different. you. So you cannot say it's a universal claim, everyone believing in it, and then there is someone who doesn't believe it. It doesn't make any sense. No, Uni a universal claim is everyone believes it. If someone doesn't believe it's no, it's no longer universal. 
So no, it's so you're just contradicting, contradicting yourself by speaking. I'm sorry, man. That doesn't work. But I have no time to explain. No problem. I